Self-improvement has become over-romanticized and we need to go back to the base. We need to go back to the root habits. We should not focus on small unnecessary habits and skip the big ones. The most important lesson that I have learned in life is don't focus on the small things that don't bring you forward but focus on the big things that give you the most that give you the most results with the littlest amount of effort this is the way i have my physique i'm gonna maybe show a couple pictures on screen right now this is the way i can train so hard in the gym it's not magic it's not a it's not a habit that i do it's not fucking testosterone maxing it's not that I don't touch plastic. It's just that I've analyzed which habits I would do if I could only do one habit. And I put all these big habits together and I do none of the small things. I don't get distracted with the small things. And this is how I'm able to, in the little amount of time that I invest into self-improvement, achieve those big things that I do. Now, let's say you're a kid that started self-improvement. The amount of shit habits you see coming at you and the amount of small little esoteric things that come at you, like, oh, you should lay in the sunlight and this and that and blah, 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 blah. I gave that advice a couple times. And I have wasted the time of the viewer who was watching it. Yes, maybe the 1% viewer who is as advanced as I am, he will maybe benefit from that. But not in the way that I want him to benefit from it. If you watch my videos, I genuinely want you to grow. And even if you don't watch them, I want you to grow, right? But I ideally want you to grow through me. Because I think I give the best self-improvement advice out there. I'm not going to lie to you. I am maybe a little bit arrogant with this. But I do think that God sent me and that God sent me on this earth for a purpose and that he gives me the, the wisdom to give you the wisdom so that you can have the most progress in your self-improvement journey. This is why I think I give the best self-improvement advice because I don't give you this advice of brush your teeth in this way, wipe your ass with, with full cotton paper and go and sit in the sun for exactly one hour and 30 seconds and meh. the advice I give you on this channel is the basics do the basics and max them out this is the habits that I give you on this channel this is the these are the only thing if I could if you would say to me you can only make one video and then you have to quit, this would be it. This video right here would be it. Because in this video, I tell you everything that I tell you in my channel. Do the basics, do them correctly, spend time figuring out how to do them correctly, and then max them out. The absolute basics that you need to do on self-improvement are meditation, gratitude journaling, prayer, and nature. If you met, or, and, and gym, right? Those five things, if you max those five things out, and this takes maybe four hours a day, if you max those things out, you're set. You can even sort it out even more. You can sort out the gym or sort out nature or whatever. But those are the five fundamentals that I would do if nothing else would prohib was prohibited. And this is exactly how I approach self-improvement. I, I found out the big whales, the big whale things, and I focus on them. This is a strategy from the book called The 4-Hour Workweek that I've read. That This was the first book that I've ever read on self-improvement. And in it, the guy, Tim Ferriss, who wrote the book, taught me the 80-20 principle. 
And in that principle, he talks about 80% of the results are achieved with 20% of the effort. And it's exactly what I found in my life. The four hours I invest into self-improvement every single day make up 80% of my results. And this 80 to 20 principle is exactly what has driven my self-improvement success to the level where I have an iron mindset. And it sounds fancy, it sounds cool, the guy saying I have an iron mindset and everyone says that these days. But I genuinely have an iron mindset. If something bad happens to me, I grow through it. If something good happens to me, I grow through it. You cannot defeat me. <laughs> I mean this, by the way. I, I'm not just shit talking. I mean this. And this is exactly the way. I found the small habit, the big dog, right? The one habit that drives the most productivity, that gives me the most bang for my buck. That habit, I found the basic habits and that habit I max out. And this is how I make self-improvement progress faster than you, better than you, bigger than you. And this is how you can have an unfair advantage over the people who get caught up in all these small little habits that they find on the internet. While the guy who is foul who is an unproductive soy boy, is researching on a new habit. I, I want to do a new habit. Mm, I'm so fancy. I'm so cool. I'm such a bitch. While that guy is researching new habits to do, and while he's listening to the Huberman Lab podcast and listening to small little hacks that you can improve 1%, mm, while he's looking for that, and while he's like on his phone, you're going to sprint past him. You're going to rip this guy's face off. You're going to fuck his, no, you're not going to fuck his wife. That's adultery. <laughs> but you know what? I, but you understand what I mean? The wife he wants is going to be your wife because you're going to be at the finish line first. And women want winners. Women want the man at the finish line, not the man in the process. And they will certainly not decide for some little bitch boy who's looking for new habits and who's looking for, if I eat chocolate once a day, I might get 1% more testosterone. He, they're not looking for that guy. <laughs> they're looking for the guy who's the biggest and baddest man who they can find. They look for the rich guy who's smart, strong, tall, who goes to the gym, who can fight. They look for that man who's present who is absolutely pounding them. Not for the little soy boy who is sitting on the floor crying about the 3% testosterone he lost because he touched plastic once. We all need to clear our brains of these bitch habits. It's, this is how I like to call them. Oh, that's just a bitch habit. Don't do it. We need to... I'm losing my mind right now, but we need to fucking get rid of all these fucking habits and just get lost in the big task, get addicted to maxing out the gym. It's all nuances. Fuck these little habits, max out the big ones and fuck the future wife of the guy who's reading up on fucking how to do no fat better. Should I edge or should I not edge? Mm. That guy's looking for excuses. Work for the wife he wants because you both want that wife. You both want that money. A lot of people want what you want. Stick out, make the difference.